What is up guys, welcome to a new video. If you want to skip the champion sect, you can do. You can go up to above me. Oh, actually no, to the left, sorry it moved. Forgot about that. Um, this game, what do we want to play? So we don't want to play anything too close because Sona is a pain in the ass to play against. So if you're going to be really close, I think actually something like a Jin, uh, Jinx, sorry, would be pretty good for this game. So we're going to play with the Soraka anyway. So it means that we'll have the healing, which will be good. So we're going to play some Jinx today. I'm re actually really thankful because the um, this Tucky Tuck guy, thank you very much for letting me AD carry. It's kind of funny. He said, I'm not even that good at bot lane. I just wanted to change. Playing mid lane all the time is boring. Well, <laughs> screw you, buddy. But uh, yeah, thankfully he let me change, which is really nice of him. So I do appreciate that. And um, we'll see if we have a, a good game with this. Whenever we play Jinx, we have actually done pretty well so far. But we always get that like rough... That rough time like the first game um i think we almost won but we didn't quite win the second game we played jinx i was really jet lagged and i just didn't play very well but we ended up winning anyway which is nice so yeah this should be a pretty good game last game was actually one of the games that i'm actually most proud of on this channel probably like it sounds very weird because we lost but um my team like that is probably about as bad as your team can get like Every single person had a bad game. It doesn't mean that terrible players it doesn't mean that crap. It just means that they had really bad games. So When it all four and like everybody loses their lane and stuff like all four people have a um, a Bad game and they just start to, to feed and stuff like You should just lose instantly, but we managed to keep it up and We actually managed to uh, do really well and make the game last a long time. So I'm actually kind of proud of that game. I think with a slightly better team, we would have been able to win that game 100%. And really, that's all you can kind of go for, I guess. That's all you can really do. So I'm actually pretty glad that, but I'm happy about that game, sorry. But yeah, this game will we'll try and carry a lot harder. GP and Ziggs and Volley are going to be a little bit difficult for me to deal with, but I can just um, uh, use my chompers and I can get away from them, which will be nice. Like I can just chomper behind me and run away, so I should be good. Really good for that one. Running standard, Eddie carry runes as much as ever. Again, it's Jin. I'm not entirely sure how the matchup goes because um, I can't really disrupt him when he's using his ult, which is annoying. I can't really trade with him. Like, he'll burst trade and run away, which will be difficult for me to deal with anyway. Um, why has it not loaded up my league? That's not making any sense. Why are we not? Hello? League of Legends? Sorry, let me try and fix this real quick. I mean, it's on my screen, right? I can see it, but you guys can't, and I don't know why that actually is. So you can see it on that screen. Okay. What about if we change to the League one? No, you can't. That's very odd. So it seems to be a problem with OBS, maybe? Or what would it be? Hmm. I actually don't know. I actually don't know what it would be. Let me try and add it again. Let me try and add another game. I'm sorry, guys. I don't actually know what's going on right now, and I'm not too sure why. Yeah, so apparently game capture with this is just busted, but I was just literally recording on that. So um, I don't exactly know what's going on at the moment. Um, I'm gonna monitor capture my thingy and do it that way, I guess. So you guys can see this and I'll put it, move it down very quickly. So this, I don't know if the FPS and stuff is gonna be good on this. I assume it's gonna be fine, but um, if it's not perfect, then you guys know why, I guess. Welcome to the rest of you guys, by the way. I'm sorry, I had, this is a little bit late, but um, there's some kind of issue with my recording software at the moment. I record with OBS and it's not letting me actually record anything. So we're recording from my monitor. See, I've actually got the league thing activated there, but it's not doing anything. So I don't know what happened, but we're going to record with our monitor set up instead. It should be very similar. It might have a little bit less FPS performance. If it's too bad, I won't upload it, but it should be fine. Anyway, let's get into the game. So we're going to be playing some Jinx this game. A rearrange the scoreboard as well for you guys. The matchup for us is actually Jin and Sona. Now, it's actually a very difficult lane to deal with. We do have a Sona healing us, though, which is very nice. 
but um, it is going to be a it is going to be a difficult lane for us to deal with because Jin and Sona just poke and burst a lot harder than we do. So I'm probably going to have to go for more of a farm lane. Probably be a little bit boring. Sraka, what are you doing? You need health potions so you can trade, but she's gone a fairy charm. So that's very strange for me. I'm guessing she's going to rely on health regen from her spamming her Q. That's that is what that tells me, but I don't think that's necessarily a completely like solid strat. Probably missed that one. Yeah. So the FPS is actually a little bit worse for me at this point um, on this. I hope it's okay for you guys. It shouldn't be too bad, but it's not. It's not as smooth as it normally is, and I don't know why because I literally just recorded my last episode. Episode, sorry. Um, I I recorded my last episode, the Carthus one. I went to get some food, and now I've come back and it's broken. So <laughs> I have no idea. But hopefully it's going to be good enough for you guys at the moment. So we'll probably get a W next, I think. Should be cool. And we'll just keep farming. Literally, this lane is going to be very boring because I'm playing with a Soraka. And normally how you, you play with a Soraka is you go actually quite aggressive. So I would be trading with this Jin and pressuring him. Like forcing him to hit me. And uh, yeah, forcing him to hit me. I would hit him and I'd just be healed up afterwards. So it'd actually be fine. And like we'd win the trade overall. But there's no point really doing that because Sona can also heal extremely well. Nice. Good job, Aatrox. Uh, yeah, Sona can also heal extremely well. Ah, oh, I'm going to miss the cannon. Tilt. So it doesn't actually really do too much for us. Like, it's not going to really help. Um, I, what I can do, though, is push him in, I guess. We'll push him on a tower. Hopefully make him miss some CS because Jin is not the best tower farmer ever. And we can go for something more like that. Let's check out if we're working. Now, what you can actually do is you could just put another point in your Q at this point. Um, I'm going to put a point in my E, though, because in case Volley Bear ganks and this uh, would be a really crap position. So I'm actually going to go and ward something I never do on an AD carry. I've noticed this when I was watching these videos back. Because like, what I would like to do is sometimes I will just put on a video and I'll watch uh, and see how I commentate and see things I can improve. Because, like, you know, I, I think I've actually considerably improved from my first couple of episodes on this channel to where I am at now with commentating. And like my level of being able to just talk and you know actually play the game at a decent level while I'm doing it but um, a lot of that is because I watch stuff back and I'll like try and improve improve it as I go so yeah I've actually noticed I've never ever watched it's kind of funny and it's kind of bad at the same time so we actually have a couple of options let's have a look Jin has 23 CS we have 26 we are still winning the push war i guess like if we're pushing we're still slightly ahead of cs how did that not get me a cs i don't know but um what i really don't or like what i don't want to happen is me to get pushed in myself because i don't really want to farm on the tower i'll probably miss some cs and that will be a bad thing so at least keep it around this level maybe the only problem with doing this really is the when it's in this kind of position just before it hits this tower like, if he keeps it around here, he's very safe. He can't get ganked by Gragas, and Volley Bear can gank me. So, it's actually the danger zone, really, especially for an immobile AD carry. And it might mean that I want to stop doing this. Um, I'm playing a bit more aggressive, though, because Gragas is literally in that bush. He's going to rec recall in a second, though, so. Well, I mean, having a striker on my team is good. Because I can do whatever I like and I don't like really, I'm not going to suffer for it. But playing against a Sona at the same time is pretty annoying because she's just going to heal and kind of do the same. So this is going to be a, boom, a boring farm lane. Oh, God. There we go. That's kind of, that's what you can do for the volley. That's what we said. Oh, sugar. Yeah, she's still going. Okay. I'm just going to heal. I'll be okay. I actually didn't think he was still going to go. I did not think he was going to go. I don't think I ever needed to heal, if I'm honest. I don't mind absorbing the crit shot again because so <laughs> she's going to heal me. Really? Are you actually going to do this? Are you really going to do this? See, I didn't expect him to still go because I was very close to my tower, but I guess uh, I should have just got a bit cocky there. Cost me my heal. Not that it really matters because I'm with a Soraka, but it's that situation of like, it's more of a speed up in this lane because I don't really need the heal component. I need the, the speed up part of it more than anything. So this is actually awkward because we've, we've warded both lane bushes to check if Volley Bear's there, but now we don't have the river warded, so we could actually come behind us because we're pushing. One thing Soraka is doing that I'm not sure is a good thing is she's she's going like that for the back line, which is okay, but 
If if she does that, I can like one shot them with my. Oh, okay, apparently I can't one shot. Oh, well, I can get them with my rockets, which is cool for farming and stuff. But I can't really. It's like it's auto pushing, right? It's it's automatically pushing, and I can't stop it because Strack is doing that, which means Volley Bear could come back in. But I steal my flash, so yeah, we're fine. All right, so build wise, Rune Mastery is going to be in the description as always. But we have gone further battle because it is insane on Jinx. Anything with the Runins, of course, is good because, as you guys know, if you've watched any of my episodes, and I talk about it all the time. Oh, sugar. Oh, wow, they're going to go for her, really? Oh, I guess, because flash, 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 flash. That was a greedy flash. Needed to flash earlier. Oh, that was a mistake. Needed to flash earlier. Much, much earlier. Just flash away and it'll be fine. So I said I'm fine because I had my flash, right? But, you know, yeah, he's coming back around for another round two. Oh, I don't have my E. That's actually a mistake. Oh my god, I'm dead. I thought his thing was about to time out, but it didn't. And I had my flash. I could have just flashed away. I thought my... Um... Actually, I don't need two pots. I thought his flip was about to time out. It was probably like half a second left or, or less. And apparently, it still managed to. But yeah, I should have flashed the uh, the Jinx. Jinx? The uh, Jin W after tilted boys that was that was dumb because he's, he's kind of camped but we dealt with the camp so badly that like both of his greed our flashes and we ended up costing us that so um yeah that's actually really annoying oh sona could kill her if sona had ulted the striker she actually would have died i think okay, let's get back in range <laughs> Jin is six i believe so we could just like oh i'm just here for the experience which is good i got that and now we'll just Try and recover from this terrible start to the game. It was actually going so well. Like, it was very boring, I guess. And I just got cocky. I was just like, both times, actually. Cost my heal because I got cocky the first time. Second time, I was like, I have my E so I can stop this. But I didn't have my E because it was on cooldown, which I just didn't even think about looking for. It's not bad. But, meh. We're still doing well on farm. Like, we're Oh, my God. <laughs> As I say that. We're still ahead on farm, which is nice. And uh, we're still pretty strong, so we can still do a lot of work, but I'm just going to ping. Whenever I see something like that, like a jungler appear on the map and stuff, you always want to ping just in case they don't see it themselves. Hopefully Aatrox is not dead, though, because he just went really, really aggressive onto the... How did I miss that? No way. Oh, my God. I kind of panicked there because I was like, whoa, no, thank you. No, 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 let me block it. Let me block it. Let me block it. I want to block it so that Soraka can then heal me afterwards. I had to flash the sonar ult. Um, yeah, I kind of thought that Soraka was closer than she was, which is my mistake again. I need to stop playing so sloppy. The Talia ult actually, like, um, it kind of just took me off guard. It sounds really stupid, but whenever there's a Talia ult like that, like, I kind of, I don't know if it's mine or if it's the enemy team's. Obviously, it's mine because, like, I have a Talia on my team, but I'm bad, and, uh, I kind of just panicked, mini panicked, so I stopped paying attention as much to the lane. Which is really stupid of me. But we don't have to flash the sonar roll, otherwise we were going to be dead anyway. I was just waiting to see, because if I if she didn't do that, I didn't need to flash, but... Yeah. So, we're going to try and pressure a little bit. Now, Sona does have, like, mana to heal, but I guess... In a way, um... Wait, what? Hello? I wanted to like pressure, but Soraka's standing so far behind me. She needs to be trying to cue these guys, ideally. It's like, I'm 1v2, which is fine. Like, I get this is kind of how a lane is supposed to be, but like a Soraka lane. But it's not supposed to be that much for 1v2. Like, you should still be trying to cue as Soraka. Because especially when Sora so doesn't have ult. I'm going to blame that one on Soraka. Especially when Sora doesn't have ult, there's not really much she can do to you. That's a crit shot. Oh my god. And again. I'm gonna heal to get away here. My E down, which is a bit late. Oh wow, okay. I gotta take a free kill then I guess. That's a shame that she got that though. I have to be careful just in case like Sona gets her ult back up. Because she used it a long time ago, but it might be Why is everybody in my lane today? Fuck me! I can't dodge everything. I can't dodge anything, apparently. 
<sighs> I mean, I am Jinx. Oh, rip. So these are skill shot gods, and my team is skill shot baddies, unfortunately. But you know, that's my fault. I should have dodged that stuff. One of those games. All right. Let's try and get back into this game though. 100% still gonna be fine, like moving into team fights and stuff, but I need to just deal with the camp better. We need to ward, like we're pushing and stuff without any vision. Try and flip him, try and flip him. Nice, okay, good job. That was really done by him, which is cool. I have, he's got, he's so low. I don't have my ult though. Talia, nice, nice. That was really clever. Nice, good job. So they mopped up after the fight, I guess, but yeah, I'm just, I need to deal with the camp better. I need to stop dying to ganks and stuff. So we just need to have better vision control really moving forward. Thankfully though, I'm still like 10 CS above on this Jin. And I'm still actually probably stronger than him, especially with that build. What is he thinking? That's so strange. Um, but yeah, like I just need to deal with it better. That's literally all there is to it. I'm not dealing with the camp well. Something I've actually seen a lot of people say, like recently and stuff, and a lot of other people will say like, oh, you know, uh, there's nothing you can do, you get camped, and like, it's just unlucky, right? Like, if they're gonna spend that much time investing in killing you and stuff, then, you know, uh, there's nothing wrong with like, yeah, you're always gonna die and stuff, especially on a mobile carry. And it's kind of true in a way, but actually, there's always stuff you can do, right? Like, right now, I have no summoners, so I'm just gonna sit here. I'm not gonna be an idiot. I'm not gonna push out because they could just be sitting in here with their ults um, and just waiting for me to kill me. They could also be doing dragon. So they're actually doing grump, but I couldn't take that risk really. But yeah, there's always stuff you can do. There's always ways you can play it better. Like I could have dodged. It was really hard to dodge where I put myself because I put myself against a uh, wall here, which is really hard to dodge against. But I just didn't expect the Ziggs to come down. It completely threw me off guard. Now, I, what I can do is I can try and bait this, but if I'm gonna bait this, I'm trying to force her not to put in a ward into here because if she puts a ward into that bush, they're gonna be able to kill me, but. Oh, whoa, okay. At least, hello? Thank you. I'm gonna say thanks because they actually gave me the kill. Like, normally people would take that, I think. Um, so. I'm actually going to take it with a minigun, I think. Nope. Never mind. I was going to take this with minigun, but then Jin turned up. And I don't know where Volley is. This is the problem I'm actually thinking about right now. It's not the Jin I'm afraid of, it's the Volley Bear. Ha! <laughs> Whoa, the fucking. Jesus, this guy's a, a beast. So we should try and kill this Jin the way he's on his own. Sona definitely doesn't have ult she used it, so that's one good thing. But Jin does have an ult. So what you have to avoid when you're playing against Jin, like what you're, I'm actually trying to do uh, for the most part, is just get to a point where we don't take a bad trade and then he can back off and just ult me and kill me. Um, we kind of did it before a little bit where... I think I have my runes. Yeah, I do. But do I run on a base and get it? That's the thing. Oh, that's unlucky. He tried to TP out of that gank. Um, you just don't ever want to take a really bad trade and then be low health so he can just randomly ult you and stuff. But this is actually quite a hard lane to navigate because they have a lot of burst damage and even though I want to, I want to like poke and punish them a little bit and use the Soraka heal, if I screw it, oh my god, she didn't even ping, what the hell. So I put them onto Chompers there. Nice. I didn't even know she was coming. She probably should have uh, pinged that, but thankfully we've recovered from this lane phase. I mean, they the thing is that's good, I guess, is they put a lot of effort into shutting me down. They're trying to... Oh, this is actually tower first, but we could maybe... If GP doesn't get top, which is not, we could actually try and get this. Tower first, but which will be great. This will be such a big... This is, this is such a big twist now when we've got this. So, I actually have, like, more CS than this guy still. We've actually managed to stay relevant. Obviously, our team has helped there. Um, nice, that's tower first blood and a tower now. So, that's a massive spike in, in gold. Um, but, yeah, so we managed to, like, recover. And 
stay relevant, and then our team has helped us get a few kills, which is really good. Nice. This is a much better game. This, this my team is doing really well this game, so it's kind of making it easy on me. I've got no pre pressure really to do anything. Okay. So let's get this blue trinket. We're in such a good spot right now. Like, uh, the, I I'd be really really surprised if uh, we if we lose this game. I was gonna say something stupid like I'll eat a sock. Shout out to you, G Ray. <laughs> but no, I, I don't really have anything stupid for it. But it, I'd be really surprised if we lost this game. Like, me being in this state where I'm so strong already, nobody's really going to be able to keep up with my damage, I don't think. And, I mean, we could throw, but it, it would be really difficult to throw, I think. Oh my god, I don't even know how I got that, honestly. I just auto attacked. But that's good for me, I guess. I'm actually going to move forward a little bit and try and... I have a lot of damage, but this is what we have to be careful of. Oh, boy. Okay, so I'm going to start attack moving now because we're actually going to have to fight. Oh, my God. I killed the Sona. What? Wait, what? Minions? Is that minions? How did I kill the Sona? I don't get it. Okay, so now we're really getting strong and just going off. This is why I was saying it would be really hard for me to actually lose. What I want to do is just get the Jin a bit lower though. Because I was thinking if I get... I wasn't actually ever going to auto attack him to death. If I just got him a bit low, I could then ult and try and get the kill. That was the goal there to just crit him a couple of times or W him and then be able to get in. I didn't think that was going to kill me. Fuck. I just didn't think that was going to kill me. I guess that's warded, but... Like, I didn't... Th the outer circle doesn't do very much damage, so I didn't think it was going to be enough to kill me. How much... It's just 377, I guess. Yeah. I just didn't think that was going to kill me 100%. That's That sucks, but... Never mind. Never mind. Okay, so we're going to get into Berserkers, then we'll go... Probably actually go for a really heavy crit build because they don't really have like a super tank or anything. Um, life still would be really handy against them because they have poke. Though, so this is the one thing I have to consider is like, basically if you go triple crit, you're like insanely strong. But, especially on Jinx because of our rockets, you're insanely strong. But, um, the problem is that you won't, you have to choose between life, steel, fourth or armor pen. So, normally at four items, you're going to have, uh, I like runins, life steal, and armor pen. Um, but in this build, if you go for double crit, so you go like uh, rapid fire cannon as well as runins, then you have to get the you have to choose between bloodthirster or last whisper fourth, which means that you're either going to be able to like basically when you have four items, you'll either be able to deal with tanks with the last whisper, but you'll have no life steal, or you'll be able to life steal, but armor is going to actually screw you up a little bit. So it, it's actually. Uh, there is a cost for going this build, but I still think it's really, really good. So we're, we're going to go with it, especially when you're snowballing. It's probably the most damage you can actually have, I think. I'd actually like be fine with going for a 20 minute Baron. It sounds really stupid, but we have Aatrox and we also have a... Uh... Oh, he's gone tank. What the hell? All right, never mind. I thought he would go like... I thought he was going to go for like a heavy attack speed build, in which case we could probably could have done that, but maybe not. Maybe that would be a bad idea. Let's get some bot lane farm. And then we can go down. I think the ward is in there. Yeah. This crit is crazy. Oh, no. Okay. This is going to be risky. Oh. That middle, like, thing. Middle thing of GP's ult when he has the upgrade absolutely canes. Like, it hurts so much. Okay. I'm coming in now. We might be able to do this. We've already lost our support, but it is Soraka, um, so... Okay, now we can go. I'm just being really, really careful at the moment. Okay, so I'm still being careful because I'm still just a squishy Jinx. And they actually have a very high damage team, so if I misstep, like, at any point in the fight, I'm probably going to die. And... Yeah. Um... I think I'm probably gonna die if I ever get if I ever get hit by anything like Jin Ol, Son Roll, Zigzo, Volibear can dive on me, GP. Like all of these guys actually do a lot of damage, so I have to be careful. Even though I'm really far ahead and I'm six and three and stuff, 
you know, it's it's still not going to end well if I screw it up. So let's just try and avoid that, I guess. So triple crit or life steal is the big question now because we have our Zerka Greaves. Um, life steal is going to be really good, so we're going to get that fourth if we go for the crit. And I think actually, I think we can go for crit here. I think crit's fine. I'll probably get this first just because it's a bit more damage, but um, pink ward or more damage? <laughs> I think we know the answer to that one. <laughs> This is actually one of the like the nicest games I've actually played like I think I made some stupid mistakes early and I've recovered from them uh, Obviously like I well as you guys know if you watch this like we never ever give up like we're always gonna be trying to do stuff But we made some stupid mistakes that we could fix Just like you know, that's literally just being cocky more than anything else. I think um, Yeah, it literally just being cocky Oh man, I actually want to go and help, but uh, we have like no vision, so um, yeah, I'm I'm waiting for them to come here with the. Uh... I don't think that's quite enough for me to kill her with my ult, though. Now I have to be careful because Jin could open with his ult. If I was Jin there, I would have actually ulted and I would have just gone for the Talia, but I guess he's a pussy. <laughs> no, no other way to say that really other than he actually is a pussy. But yeah, this is probably one of the most like... Mate, do you know how fed I am? Hello? Power of crit, boys. 50% crit and I hit, I crit both, so that's actually pretty lucky, but... Still, <laughs> that really hurts. This is why I was saying I was so strong and it's going to be hard for them to actually for me to really lose this game, I guess. I'd have to really stuff it up to lose. I'm in such a good position, which is really nice. Oh, man. Okay. I don't know what just hit me, but even that hurt. Probably a Ziggs Q, I guess. I'm not sure. I think if I crit, I can kill this guy, but no. One out of three. Unlucky. I have to be careful of like people coming up and I could just ult this guy, but I don't know if I need to because Talia is going for him. No, I don't need to. <laughs> Rip. I was unlucky. I was actually just gonna leave it and I was gonna ult and try and pick him up, but triple barrel. Yeah. Oh boy. This GP is actually really good. I have He's actually played particularly well this game, I think. Considering like he's got boned in lane, he's landed some pretty good barrels. And he's not like, I don't know if he's really good, maybe that's a bit of an like a exaggeration, but he's definitely competent, which is gonna make this game a bit harder. <laughs> See what build he's going for. He's going for the like the Korean build as well. <laughs> Korean build. So he is really gonna hurt. I have to be careful. Like Jin has actually played a pretty solid game. He's done. He didn't. He didn't really do anything in the lane phase, which I think is a mistake. Like on Jin, you kind of want to be more aggressive, and I think he probably should have gone more aggressive. He was a bit too passive, especially considering like I was getting camped. He could have baited me in much harder, I think. But apart from that, like he's played a pretty solid game. Like he hasn't really done anything, but he hasn't really done anything wrong particularly either. So I guess that's just kind of like you know. Hoping a team's gonna carry you rather than see this is where my attitude is like different like even Though my team definitely like helped me out this game for sure like 100% my attitude is always like what impact can I have rather than like What can I do to you know, like can I just survive my impact my? Uh, mindset is much more about how can I you know, how can I carry this game? I think more than anything else All Right, so we're really really strong now like really strong and we have 70% uh, crit 80% crit which is pretty ridiculous. I Like, I would love for someone to buy me a Zeke's, but I don't think that's really going to happen, if I'm honest. <laughs> I don't think. Like, Zeke's will be so good because it's 100%, but 80% still is a lot of crit, so <laughs> we should be good. Just with that, anyway. We do have to be a bit careful because two people are top at the moment. Why well, I almost ran into that because I'm an idiot. I'm just watching the map. And Soraka being top is actually the worst place to be because GP is the one who can actually probably kill her from that far, uh, far away. So really what we want to do is like, we could all go top, I guess. Oh, they're going to engage. I'm going up here. 
So rapid fire shot here. Oh my god, Sona actually missed. I thought Sona was gonna hit me, so I instinctively just ran away, but shit, she didn't. Now we have to be a bit careful. Uh, Aatrox is still gonna push top though. Aatrox is like a tank though, right? I don't think he pushes a tower very hard. But I don't actually know, because that build is like... Yeah, he's not doing it that quickly, but I guess he's not. I don't know if that's Owl Spirit or theirs. I can't tell on the meme map it says. Okay. I was trying to sit off to the side, but then I was like, what if they just like ran me up here? You know, I'm dead. I think Talia should wall them here. So I used both summoners at that point. I might have just like pussied out a little bit, but... Oh, that was a really good uh, Talia flip there. So I didn't see the barrel in the bush, and I I was keeping an eye on him to try and see if he was putting one in here deliberately for that, so he couldn't chain. And I was under the impression that he didn't have one in there. Maybe it was in there before I actually got there, but I was watching him. I might have just missed it. That is like definite. I could have just definitely missed it. But um, I was actually watching for it, and I didn't think it was there. That's why I went aggressive. But Volley Bear's flash from my flash is 100% worth from him, so that was a good... Oh my god, that's not good. Hopefully, actually, we bait them in here, because we could definitely turn this. Like, I want to actually fight still. Um, I'm really strong. I just need an engage. I want anything. Oh, he pushed him into the wall instead of anything else. This is just... Whoa. That was a lot of damage. Oh, I got him with my zap. <gasps> oh my god, I killed GP! <laughs> Holy crap, I got the Zav on the Jin. I got the Zav on the Jin and then the ult on the GP behind him. Like that 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 looks sick. That was 100% intentional. 100% intentional right there. That was ridiculous. That was not supposed to happen. I was literally just going to execute the Jin, zapping and then I didn't think my zap was going to be enough damage so zap into ult. But um yeah. Zap into all, and I actually managed to kill two people with that. That's ridiculous. That is that is really sick, though. I could put that in a montage and be like, 100% meant to do that, right? <laughs> uh, okay, let's do it. I don't think they can really do anything. I don't think it's going to be warded either, so... We should be fine. Jinx is really good at this with crit build. I probably should have waited for that, honestly. Oh, Sraka, I love you. Okay, I'm so fed at this point in this game. You wouldn't even know that I fed my arse off earlier, would you, really? Aren't you going to come in on me? Okay. Switch to minigun. This might be a bit too much, because he's going to crit me and kill me, I think. Nope, okay, I got him. Alright, so my, my like strength as a player... Um, is my team team fighting like I push the limits of my character a lot because I know them more I guess but I like in a team fight I'm a lot stronger than I am in the lane phase this is why sometimes I actually struggle to carry a little bit I have so much gold oh my god sometimes like um, I'm not this player who's just gonna go like 0 and 10 or 10 and 0 in the lane phase I'm much more passive and then you'll notice when I win games it's more like Caitlyn uh, Jinx Cogmore like these champions I'm a lot more comfortable on because even if I get a, I make a mistake in the lane phase, it doesn't cost me because I can come back with a good team fight afterwards. So these are actually like the ideal champions for me, really. And I'm always like, if I get a lead, like that's nothing amazingly well. Like I didn't out mechanic him or anything. I'm just really fed and I have 8% crit. So I just push my limit. But that's the kind of thing that like, if I have a lead on these champions, I can really do a lot of work in a team fight. And that's where I want to get to every game, ideally. But, and this is important to know. It's not me bragging at all. It's just knowing what your strength is as a player like some people were good in the lane phase and crap in team fights i'm like the opposite like i'm i'm decent in the lane phase I'm, i don't i rarely ever get completely like crapped on sometimes it happens but excuse me sometimes i i do just get completely destroyed but most of the time i don't get destroyed in the lane but i don't necessarily win it super hard either i'm more like do okay in the lane phase than carry team fights with better positioning and uh, yeah, and thought process there. So he's gonna watch the zigs here. That's why I didn't go in because he's gonna do that to me. I'm gonna minigun this guy actually. I was just rocketing because that's pretty much standard. But okay, now we can actually go to town. I think. And this guy, the crit is insane. Oh, I'm actually gonna get hit big time, but damn, I underestimated the geek, the gangplank there. I got really greedy for that. 
just I was saying that my strength is team fighting. I fuck up a team fight. <laughs> but yeah, this is like this is ideal for what I actually want to do. Nice. I think G he actually might die for that, but. RIP. Anyway, uh, let's get some. Uh, Last whisper now. Yeah, but this is just important to, as a player. The point I'm trying to make. It's important as a player to try and recognize what you're good at and play around it. So for me, if I get to this point in the game, this is where I know that I can probably carry if I'm not stupid like that. Like I got cocky. I thought I could kill them and just end the game. Um, but yeah, as long as you recognize that, like you'll win a lot more games, I think. So that's really important to actually realize and think about. All right, so um, GP is like absolutely ruining me at the moment. Oh my god, he just walled for some farm. All right. But we don't actually have any objectives to play for at the moment, so we should really just push mid. Okay. We should try and end this game though, because the thing is, like that combo that they did on me, if they do, if they go aggressive and use that, then it's actually really bad for us because. I can't really do too much about that if, unless I have my flash up, I guess. I cannot put myself in that. Wait, what? She's behind us, I think. Those ghosts came from behind me. So that's not. I oh, know. I think she was, but she went around. Yeah, so. Um, if they go aggressive with it. Oh my god, he actually went. If they go aggressive with that combo, then it could actually really bite me in the ass. That, that time I obviously walked into it. But. We should really take this in here. Like, I'm so strong. Can someone please frontline for me? I'm being really, really passive here. Like, staying really far back in case something like that happens. Just trying to get an auto attack if I can, my rapid fire and stuff. But, like, we, we should just take it. Like, we're so, we are stronger. We just need to engage. Come on, boys. Don't waste time. There's a wave top, so we could just get in here, like... We really need to not stall the game out because GP could uh, just ruin us late game. With a Ziggs ult, GP ult, that's going to be like more than half my health just gone in an instant. Really looking for one of them to overextend and make a mistake, but that's kind of difficult to have, I guess. Oh, Talia went in. Okay. This might be good for us. I'm just going to flash out of the Ziggs ult here. I'm going to go for kills rather than the inhib. If I thought we'd lose this fight, I'd go for that, but I don't think... Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm taking the inhibit to get the speed up, but... I don't think I'm going to get him. He's going to dodge that. We can probably end, maybe. Mm, probably not with that guy. I think we need to leave, actually. I'm really strong, but I have to hit something to life still back up like these. That would be nice. I'm way stronger than those guys, so I can play around that a bit more. But I guess we go for Baron or um, Elder Drake. And then... So I'm just going to ping these and say, let's go for them. This game really should have been over, but we just need to clean engage and like get onto the people. Uh, but I think it's it's getting a bit harder just because of the GP wave clear and Volley's a big tank. Ziggs has a lot of damage. Jin's pretty fed, so this game, even though like it seems like I'm really fed and it's going to be easy because of our scores and stuff, it's actually a little bit difficult unless we get buffs to help us um, help us do it. Uh, so you want to rush it, but like. We should get the crab to start with anyway. Oh my god, he knocks her out on my zap. That was probably the worst engage. Sraka, what are you doing, friend? So I'll put down these things here, the chompers, and we'll see what we can do. But I'm going to have to run. My FPS is also actually playing up at the moment. I think because of the capture, the way I'm capturing the game is different than normal. I'm still really fed and I have this speed up though, so 
I'm gonna play around this a little bit, try and get some more poke on him. I got his passive, which is nice. Talia's in the mid lane, so we should actually do this. But I guess oh, we should we should just rush the thingy. They know it's happening, like they know it's happening. They've got a vision, but I don't think it really matters when you have a a jinx. I'm not doing as much as I thought I would do to this though. So they are gonna be coming. Let's just zone this off real quick. So we can't get through this now. I don't believe he has his flash either. You always wanna get Elder Dragon though, because it's just so much combat stats. So Baron is for pushing, Elder Dragon is for uh, fighting. That's the way you want to think about it. If you have a Baron, it gives you nothing really in a fight. Wow, okay. We actually in the game after this now, I think. Jeez, he must have stuffed that up big time. They know we're doing it, I guess, but... Let's see if Ziggs just doesn't steal this. Nice. We should really fight this, I think. Um, I need to move around. I was going over just hoping they would be there and we could get in, but now I'm actually really far out of this. We ha I think we'll win this fight anyway, like, maybe not if she does that. Oh no, we've got Seracra, that's fine. Seracra OP. I'm just trying to literally play for the team here. Get everyone, if I get a reset, it's done. There we go, game over. Nice. So we actually played early pretty bad. I'm pretty disappointed with how we played the lane phase. I was way too cocky, but team fights, I think we navigate pretty well. And this is the reason you should learn to team fight because even if you have just a tiny advantage in the um, the game itself, like you'll be able to, oh my God, I need to background, get rid of monitor capture. There we go. Sorry, I don't know what is up with uh, the OBS. I don't know why I did that, so. I'll fix it in the ep next episode though. So most score in the game, we didn't actually have most farm in the game. The Italia kind of got that one off us, which is good. Actually, no, Gangplank just farmed like a beast. This guy was really, he played really well actually. Like the Gangplank did play exceptionally well that game, I think. Um, he, he kept them in the game for a long time. And he actually out damaged us as well, which is very rare because Jinx has like AB rockets. So yeah, she did pretty well. Uh, sorry, the, the Gangplank did pretty well. Uh, but yeah, I think that was a pretty good game. Actually, like, we struggled a bit early, so we made some mistakes, but this is a good game for just general AD carry because... Actually, I don't know how many of you guys actually watch until the end, like, my little ramble about the summary, I guess, but <laughs> this is a pretty good game to watch just... Even if it's just for the fact that this is going to happen a lot in your games, like, you'll make a mistake early, you'll slip up, like, it happens to all of us, and then it's about how you actually recover in the lane phase, though, like, how you just keep farming in the game, you eventually get back into it, and then you, how you play team fights and... That really makes a difference. Like team fighting is such a good ability to have. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Back to Jinx. I, I fucking love playing Jinx, man. She's so much fun. But anyway, we're gonna uh, end it there. So I'll catch you in tomorrow's video.